Hi everyone, welcome back to Gloucester Golf Centre, myself Joe Lavery. So today I'm in the Upstairs AT Performance Studio. So this is our Upstairs Swing Studio. We, do, we are very fortunate to have two. And today I'm going to be testing some brand new irons from Mizuno. So before I bought mine, I did not know they were releasing some new ones. So I bought the JPX 900 Forged and they have just brought out some new ones. They brought out some MP18s. So these are not a direct replacement for the JPX. Um, these are replacing the previous MP range. Um, and these here now come in three or four different styles, depending on if they decide to make the fly high into a full set of clubs or not. But I'll talk you through that in a moment. I'll give you a full chat um, about them all and we'll get it close and personal and then we'll hit a few shots tonight, today. Tonight. Okay, so guys, this is the new MP18 range. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the blade. So this is their real bladed one. And this is the one I'm actually going to be testing today. You can see I've got it in the shaft at the moment. So this thing is absolutely stunning to look at. Um, I've actually not hit any shots with this yet before I'm filming this part. Um, you can see the look of the face. Yeah, you know, all looks very kind of, kind of bladey. Top edge there is nice and thin. He's then coming around into that real finish at the back. So this is going to be the real sort of player's iron. Um, if you're looking at anyone sort of real low single figures, anyone that's a bit of a ball striker, um, you can see how thin that is there. Absolutely stunning. Um, so that's the blade. Then we then go into the um, SC, which is this one here. So this now is basically the way to remember this is a small cavity. It's a real small cavity on the back. You'll see it is slightly thicker than what the other one was. Still got a real nice thin top line though. Um, absolutely stunning. So then we have the MMC, which is this one here. So this is the mixed material. Um, so the idea is here you now have the titanium and the tungsten there. Um, you see again, pretty sort of um, chunky, especially compared to the blade, but still a really nice looking head. You can see there, that's absolutely stunning. Um, real nice thin top line overall. Really nice looking finish though. I like the kind of matte kind of thing here. That one there looking a little bit shinier. It's really cool. And the last one then is the MMC Fly High, which is this one here. Now, I'm not sure if they're doing these as a full set or whether this is something that's just gonna be like a driving iron. Um, but again, looks absolutely stunning. I'm looking at the face there. So this is now gonna be aimed more towards um, some of these ones driving iron off the tee. Um, or if they do it as a full set of clubs, we aim towards a little, someone with a little bit more of a higher handicap. However, it must be remembered the MP range is always designed towards the better players. The JP, JPX perhaps um, then starts to kind of fill that gap with, with the hot metals up towards the sort of higher handicap end. So for many of you that watch my full bag review, you'll know that I used to have a set of Titleist MB irons. Now these only went up to the 7 iron. Today I'm going to hit the MP18 blades in the six iron. Um, so I never had the six iron in a blade, but I'm intrigued to see how this one feels and whether I can actually now hit it. Now I don't play full time. So first impressions, the head is not much bigger than the golf ball. It's certainly not that it, not that it looks intimidating, but it doesn't look like the friendliest looking iron. You know, you're not going to get away with much with these. Okay, so a little bit heavy, however, really nice flight. And for a strike that wasn't the best, I'm surprised it's done as well as it did. Let's try again. Love the look of these. I'm hitting these for people that are interested with the, the Project X LZ six and a half shafts in. Okay, that felt good. That felt really nice. Such a soft feeling of impact. Doesn't matter what else I don't think you put in your hands, nothing does feel as good as a blade when you, uh, when you do strike it well. Don't get me wrong, the cavities are coming a long way, but a traditional blade, you just cannot beat. I'm amazed at how far these are going. So this six iron here has got 30 degrees aloft on it. Um, which is pretty much, I'd say, your sort of standard now for, for lofts. And it's going, I think, as far as what my six iron would. 
which I'm really surprised at. I truly thought I was going to lose yardage. I truly thought these weren't going to go as far. I've, I've heard they're super soft, but they're soft and go well. There we go. Absolutely love the feel of these. The actual look at them, as I say, they're not very big. You know, it's a real small head. So if you're a really good golfer or somebody that wants to be a really good golfer and thinks, you know what, I'm going to buy some irons that I want to start playing into, but I want a blade, I don't think you could beat these. I really do not think you can beat these. Especially not for looks and feel. They're so soft. That's the strike. And you can see the difference there in the distance between the two. Well, I'm just glad I managed to make contact with those. They are such a small head that you would have to be a, a good player to use those. But that's why they brought out the rest of the range with the SC, the MMC. Um, that's exactly why they're there. And it's, it's to make it so that you can get the same feeling but out of something a little bit larger. But just remember the MP range is for the better player. But make sure when you, when you do go for a custom fitting, have a hit with them. Who knows? They could suit you even if you're a higher handicap. You might look at them and go, actually, they are fantastic. This is exactly what I've just done today with those blades. I've looked at them and thought, as much as I probably now wouldn't be able to use them, they do look awesome. And in fact, if I was in the market for new irons, it would be tempting me back into a blade again. And I think that's, you know, that's a great sign for Mizuno. Um, the feel of them, they are buttery soft. It is crazy how little kind of you get back at impact. You can really feel the strike and everything, but up through the handle, there's no vibration. There's no... Um, sort of pain that I don't think you had from blades of old. Now it's kind of a real smooth feeling. You know you've struck it well. You can almost tell how many grooves it's run up for it then to shoot off into the screen. And I'm amazed with the distance. Um, it was something, especially when I bought my tightless blades, I had to crank them so much because I just found I couldn't get the distance out of them that I had out of my ping answers I had before that. Whereas with these, that's going as far as my six iron. And I've got the JPX 900 forged. So suddenly, they're keeping up um, with something that really they're probably not designed to compete with. But very, very impressive product again from Mizuno. I think iron-wise, these guys really know their stuff. And as I say, those feel fantastic. So guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you could, please check out our websites at AT Golf Coaching or w.atgolfcoaching. The link will be in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a like, um, a comment if, if there's anything you'd like to see or anything you'd like to improve in this video or any information you want to know about the irons. Um, and please then share it. I, I'd like to start trying to get this channel out to more people. So if you could share it, that'd be really appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.